three things I would tell my 16 year old self. Now I'm on day seven of a, of a seven day juice cleanse today. And uh, yeah, feeling, feeling good, feeling good, pretty, you know, pretty stable, pretty solid. I just drank juice, nothing else for seven days. Pretty amazing experience, you know, you get different sorts of thoughts, make new decisions and you know, amazing feeling in your body as well. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, you know, it's good to do it like a, a relaxed retreat like center. Um, it's, it can be a bit more difficult doing it at home with various you know, daily stresses and things like that, but it's possible. I've just done it, right? Um, so yeah, so you, know, you start to think differently when you're on a cleanse. You know, your, your digestive system goes to sleep and uh, that allows for a lot more blood and oxygen to go to your brain and uh, you, you can get realizations and things on a juice cleanse that you might never ever get. You know, plus you've taken the food out of your stomach and your stomach is, you know, your, uh, your thinking comes from your stomach as well. You know, that's why you say that you get a gut reaction or a gut instinct. You know, that is your, your stomach thinks, you know, there's, there's neural uh, pulses coming from your stomach as well, you know, giving you information. Um, so, you know, when you take all the blockages out of there from the food, that, your gut instincts becomes more finely tuned as, as well. Um, so, you yeah, know, it's a great thing to do. And so anyway, I was looking at a, at a post where somebody posted on, uh, on Facebook. Um, if you could go back and speak to the six, your 16 year old self, what would you say? And uh, so I thought, that's interesting. I looked down at the comments and a, a lot of people were, were talking about you know, kind of more like negative things, like, like they were regretting things. Like they were saying, you know, don't get married, um, you know, you know, quit, quit your job earlier. You know, it was kind of st stuff like that. It was, uh, it was more like things that they were, they were regretting that they would come back and say, oh, don't do this, don't do that, you know. Um, you know, I, I, I see that everything has value. You know, even the mistakes we make in life, there is something to learn from the mistakes. So always look for the seed of benefit in the in, in the mistake you made or, or the, the, the terrible thing that happened, look for what's terrific about it. You know, look for, look for the seed of, of benefit in, in everything. Because even the, 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 the negative, the bad things, what we perceive as being bad or whatever, there is something to gain from that. You know, whatever disadvantage, there is an advantage to it. Whatever loss, there is a gain, right? So that, that, that's how I like to um, look at life and look at the world. So there, there is no regrets, just, just aren't there, you know? Um, so uh, anyway, so if, but if I could, I th thought about it, I thought, oh, yeah, if, if I could go back to a 16 year old self, what would I say? And I actually find it difficult to think, so I thought, you know, yeah, you know, I, I've made a lot of mistakes, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying, yeah, everything was great, you know, made tons of mistakes in my life, you know, times I've been kicking myself. Um, but would I change it? I don't know if I'd change it. There's, there's a few maybe distinctions I would like to have made earlier in my life, some things I would like to put in place um, that would, of a, enjoyed me a greater quality of life and uh, do, I do different things now that I might not, that, that I don't do anyway. So the three things, if I could go back and speak to my 16 year old self, the three things, ver first thing would be start investing now. You know, I, I grew up with a, a negative association to money, thought it was bad, thought it was evil, um, you know, things like that. Just, just I didn't, didn't see it as part of my identity, someone who was out to make money or something. I thought those people were out to, you know, um, you know, trot on people or something like that, you know. Um, and while it can be the case, sometimes it's, it's not always the case and because money is just neutral and uh, many people do uh, great things with it, right? But it took me many years to sort of work that one out. Um, and there was a lot of struggle and things like that because, because I couldn't seem to work that one out. Uh, so I would say start investing now. And uh, that what I'd recommend to anyone. If I spoke to any 16 year old now, I'd say, you know, what, what do you reckon? I'd say start investing. Which brings me on to the, the second, uh, number two, the second thing I would say to my 16 year old self, and that is to, uh, to read 30 pages of empowering information every single day on the subjects of the broad terms of health, wealth, and wisdom. You know, so I'm not talking about reading trash or just reading trashy novels or whatever, you know. If you read a novel, have it be something that you're going to really take from it, you're going to learn, you know. Um, so on the subject of health, wealth and wisdom, you know, it's, it's so, so important. You know, wisdom is a lot of different areas. But to get good information that's going to empower your life, that's going to make you wiser, that's going to make you, um, you know, uh, see yourself in a, in, a, in a higher light as well. Um, and that, that brings, brings us into all to number one, you know, 
you know, learn about, do investing. Well, if you don't know anything about investing, then how are you going to learn about it, right? So you need, need to read books. You know, it's, it's, you know, Warren Buffett is said to have read every single book on investing in the library by the time he was 11. He ran out of books to read on investing by the time he was 11. Um, you know, became the richest man in the world at one point. Uh, so, you know, that's what I would say to my six year Learn about investing, you know, read books on investing, read books on wealth, read books on health, um, and just generally become wiser, become wiser in this and specialize in, in whatever area interests you, you know? This brings you on to number three. Number three would be to uh, um, punch more people in the face. Because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that need to be punched in the face. And I've let a lot of people off the hook um, in my life that should have been punched in the face, but, you know, just gave them a, a pardon. Kind of joking. <laughs> no, number three is to uh, do gymnastics. You know, when, when, I was, uh, when I was a teenager, whatever age I was, you know, 14, 15, I went into the local leisure centre to find gymnastics and it, it wasn't gymnastics, it was a class and you know it was just uh, more like girls on leotards and things and you know they weren't really doing what I would call real gymnastics, more like rhythmic and stuff like that you know. So there wasn't any gymnastics centre that I, I could go to. But at the time I thought well then I just can't do gymnastics, right? But if, uh, but I would say look you know you need to take it upon yourself to learn. These days, it's great you got YouTube. Back then, of course, it wasn't. You didn't have anything like that, you know. Um, so I'd say, you know, buy books, buy videotape courses on gymnastics. And then by doing that, you can self-learn, get a buddy and learn gymnastics. Because I, I would love to be able to do all these big flips and turns and things that you see people doing. Um, but as you get older, it changes. I work on my flexibility, but it takes, it's, uh, it's an effort, you know. And, and, you know, if I, if I did a one of those big flips, these kids doing these big flips, I said, well, if I did that, I'd like to do it, but if I did that, and I landed funny on my leg, and I broke my leg, and I was out for like six months, you know, that'd be catastrophic. You've got a lot more responsibilities when you get older. You can't, you can't afford to be out, out of the picture for six months, you know, um, when you have a lot of responsibilities, right? So, but if you've already learned it, it's a different story. Then you know you can land it every time. So that's what I, those are the three things I would say to my 16 year old self. And I had to, I had to kind of rack my brain to, to really, really think about that. The first one that came up very quickly was, was start investing. And then it was like, well, you've got to learn about investing, read books, things like that. And it's something I've been doing for a lot of years now, but if I would have done it earlier, of course, it would have been uh, much more advantageous as well. So please leave in the comment, what would you say to your 16 year old self? If you want to give me three things, give me three things or at least one thing. If you could go back to your 16-year-old self and say something, what would you say? Thanks for watching. See you next time.